Hey everybody, it's Ranger Kristen back for another Ranger Minute. And uh, today I wanted to talk about um, fall and black bears. So out here where we live in Colorado, well, where I live in Colorado, uh, we only have Ursus Americanus, which is the American black bear. Um, and it comes in a lot of different colors. It could be black, it can come in uh, blonde, it can come in uh, like a cinnamon color but it's all the same thing. A lot of people call it a brown bear because it's the color brown. Um, but what they're really referring to is uh, Ursus horribilis, which is the grizzly bear, which we don't have here in Colorado. Um, but right now, what's going on is the bears are in a state of what's called hyperphagia. So they are eating and eating and eating up to 24 hours a day to put on weight for um, their winter sleep. And as they're omnivores, they kind of eat a little bit of everything. Uh, out here, we see them eat a lot of berries. Um, they get into people's trash cans, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, you can see them 24 hours a day, which uh, is not as usual during the summer. So it's kind of cool, at least for me. <laughs> uh, but one thing that, you know, a lot of people ask me, they're like, hey, you know, I saw a bear. This is scary. It's by the trail. And so I'm telling them, you know what, that's normal. We've got a lot of berries along the trails. A lot of times the trails are um, in a drainage where there's water, which means there's more plants for them to eat. And so you just want to give them space. Um, basic safety with black bears is they, they're like everybody else, they want space. Um, so I give them and really all animals, what I call is the rule of thumb. So you're gonna stick your thumb out all the way extended like you are hitchhiking and if you can cover up the animal with your thumb you're probably okay um, the other thing is you know if the animal's changing its behavior if it's looking at you if it's um, in the case of black bears you're going to see them huffing um, stamping their feet all of that is saying hey you're too close and i'm uncomfortable um, so in that case you definitely want to give them more space but right now like i said earlier they're stuffing their faces for that winter sleep. And they don't actually go into uh, what we consider a hibernation. It's very similar, they go into torpor. So in their torpor, they lower their um, heart rate, their breathing, their body temperature, their metabolic rate, everything lowers. And that helps them be able to use the fat that they put on during the, the summer and the fall to survive the winter. And one of my, well, I have a couple of cool things that I think um, are really neat about the bears is they actually do not um, produce any waste. They actually recycle their urine into a protein that um, they can use during their torpor. So kind of cool. Um, and they also have something called delayed implantation of the embryo. So, you know, they'll have the mating season and then the female actually can essentially store um, an embryo and it'll implant during the winter so that she's got a little bit more um, you know time to get ready and and be prepared for having her cubs um, because she's in torpor she can wake up when she's got you know when she goes into labor and she has her babies um, and she also can wake up for any danger so that's what's cool about torpor it's a bit different in that respect from hibernation i'm on a trail so i've got a bunch of runners <laughs> and bicyclists and all that kind of good stuff thankfully uh so far it's been quiet um or was i bears i lost my train of thought guys sorry um so they go into torpor and uh, then in the winter, they uh, basically just sleep it away. It's a mechanism not to escape the cold, but to escape um, from the low food source. So that's why they do that. But right now, like I said, they're stuffing their faces, trying to get as much fat on as they can. Um, and one problem that we do see, especially here in town, is they get into a lot of trash cans. Um, so if you are in bear country, you know, please make sure that you have a bear proof trash can, which 
sometimes they can still get into if you don't latch it properly. If it's full, it's not doing in any good. Um, you know, try to keep your trash inside until trash day. Pick up after, you know, your kids if they're running around with a plate of cookies and a bunch of them fall out in your yard, pick them up, that sort of thing. And uh, you're really gonna be doing the bears a favor because here we've got, um, you know, the rules, I think it's a two strike rule. You know, if they're getting into people's trash and they get trapped, they're gonna get an ear tag. Um, they're gonna get a second ear tag and that's your two strikes, essentially the third time they get euthanized. So protect the bears, do what you can. Um, I think that's mostly what I wanted to say quickly about the uh, Ursus Americanus, American black bear. Pretty cool animals. Um, and some of you asked for a cool view. And it's a little hard to see, but uh, that is my office. We've got the foothills here in Colorado. So, not a bad view. All right. If y'all have any questions, definitely drop me a line. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you got people that you think you would like this video, share it. Uh, if there's something you want to see, let me know. And I will hopefully be making another one soon for y'all. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, you should do that. Learn about nature. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is Ranger Kristen signing off for my Ranger Minute about the American Black Bear. <laughs>